have a good old MacBook from 2013 running Mac OS Big Sur. Wait, what? Why is Freeform on here? Wait, huh? System settings? Stage manager? Yup, this is not running Mac OS Big Sur. This is running Mac OS Ventura, the latest release from Apple. And today I want to show you how to mod your own computer to do this. So let's get started. This is currently running Mac OS Mavericks, the original release, I am pretty sure, with its 2.3 GHz Core i7 and 8 gigs of RAM. Now it's not powerful in any means, but Mavericks is really limiting. Pretty much everything is dead. You can't even use Mavericks correctly anymore because it's not updated. Okay, so I know this camera isn't as good, but I can't have my phone here because of time limits and everything. Camera recordings in any way. So I know it sucks, but it's what I can do. Here we have Mac OS Mavericks. Very basic, very old, and it's so limiting that I think what we're gonna have to do is upgrade it to Big Sur or just to install Ventura. And I don't think I know that we have to do it. So if the search of is download, Mac OS Big Sur. Okay, so I'm just gonna wanna click on it, double click and it'll open it up. In the install assistant thing. Continue. Macintosh HD, which is the obviously the hard drive in here, even though it's really an SSD. Um, and then install it. Type in password. My very secure password is one two three. Sorry, no. Use that for uh, zero 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 zero. Install software. Install failed? What? So that was slightly scary that they did not work, but I think this should be working still. Um, we have the install Mac OS Big Sur. It was just in launch bad for some reason, I don't understand. But continue, agree the terms, agree. Macintosh HD, which is again, the only disc on here. Type in password, super secure, four zeros. And we are installing. I will see you guys when this is installed in probably another half hour. Yay, you gotta love waiting. This is Mac OS Big Sur. So, I, let's continue. You just sign in like you're turning on any other MacBook and starting that up. This is Mac OS Big Sur, and we have Big Sur. Um, this might be the original version of Big Sur, so uh, I don't know. It's actually is the most recent version of Big Sur. That's good. Um, so that is the end of the road for this MacBook, at least with supported. But we don't care that much about what it actually supports. We care about what we can hack and mod. So what you're gonna want to do is make sure. You have obviously the computer that you need, and you need a flash drive that works with the computer, obviously, because if you can't plug it in, there's no point. What we're gonna do is plug it into the USB port and make sure there's nothing on the drive. I, don't, I just have it called the USB installer because I will randomly just throw different things on top, but of course there's nothing on here. So what you're gonna, gonna, gonna wanna search up is Open Core Legacy. Patcher. I will have the link in the description. And it is a GitHub. So we just get started. Here we go. We have version 0.6.2. And we can do the download PKG. That's the wrong thing. The app. I shouldn't. The PKG would work too. 
but big deal. Hit, this is the install system we in, we used in um, Mavericks. That's actually quite funny. All right, but yeah, this was running Mavericks like a half hour ago. Not a half hour ago. An hour and a half ago. No, half hour ago. Half hour ago. I am completely clueless. But it does actually still have all the files from before, as you noticed. These are relocated items. I bet this has. What are relocated items? Oh, that's actually interesting. They have just like a little pretty thing system. Do we still have, here's my question. Do we still have the old data and stuff? I'm not only doing this because there's nothing really to do while it's downloading, but do we still have the old, where is this? No, oh, it's a simple thing, I forgot, okay. Um, do we still have the old, we still have it, it's in the trash. Do we have the install Mac OS anymore? No, it actually got rid of the install fixer. That's interesting, okay. And then this has got to decompress the zip file. And we have the app. So quite obviously, open the app. And wait for it to open. It's gonna have to verify and do a lot of stuff that macOS just does to make sure you're not downloading useless garbage that'll just destroy your computer. But there we go. Next, next thing you're gonna do is create macOS installer. Download macOS installer. So what it's gonna now do is pull out, um, give you the options for Ventura. Ventura is currently on 13.3.1, so we're gonna click on that. And this will be a while. Again, this really does take a long, this is a long process. But um, yeah, it's currently on 0.14%. I will see you when that is done. Well, it's been just a bit. It's a lot later. <laughs> just last filming at like 1.30. It's now about 3. But um, next thing you're gonna wanna do once it's done doing that, which does take a while, I started this process at like 10 and it's three. So yeah, I did stop to take my dog for a while. Um, but pass in your passcode, this one's 0000. And you gotta give it a little bit to install into applications folder. I'm assuming I've done this before a while ago and I don't really remember how it works. So let's let this go. And now we're done. So what it has to do now is it's finished extracting that. Now it needs to flash the installer, which is the USB drive that I have plugged in over here. Um, it doesn't need to be that good of an SD drive. Um, obviously, the better it is, the quicker it is. So yep, we're gonna click on macOS Ventura, disk to U disk. I'm assuming that's this, and it's going to load. It wants the password. And it's going. This will be a bit. And we are back. Um, yep, oh, install. And yep, it created it. So now we're gonna click install it. And it'll run a bunch of things. We're gonna install it. Might make us enter the passcode. We, um, this, because if you install it to this, it will actually install it to the USB drive, which would suck because then you obviously would not have macOS on the computer. And install password. And again, this is probably not something Apple would love you to do, but um, so don't like do this and then tag this video to Apple or something, but like it works or I've used it before, it should work. It is currently rebooting. <laughs> Question mark? Wait, I'm so dumb. This is an install disk for Ventura that's modded, that has the modded install Ventura. All I have to do is to boot to that. I'm so stupid.
EFI boot, yup. Install Ventura. And boom, we're installing Ventura. This will again take a really, 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 really long time. And I'm interested to see how long this video is going to be in raw files in. But let's let this start installing. And we have gone. I again don't know how long I was just sitting there not watching. But this is the install Ventura screen. It is tiny, but it will fix that later. I'm pretty sure, because I remember doing this before. But we can click continue. And I just want to mention, I would not recommend installing this on a 2011 or older because the power is just not going to be enough to support Ventura. Quite obviously this is a 2013, or at least older because it has the retina display and it's not 20 tons thick. So why is the white balance terrible? Um, but we can go through this, agree, of course agree, Macintosh HD, Macintosh HD, continue. And we have about 40 minutes remaining. Ugh. And as you can see, we are currently booting into Ventura. Let's go. Let's hope this actually boots in a timely fashion. Actually, it looks like it is. Um, you will probably have to reset and go through some setup process, but like, who cares? You have a new version that can run every single app. It's a big deal. It won't be the most easy thing to use because like, Apple being Apple, but like, you're gonna have Ventura on an old Mac. That means you can use it for so much longer because it'll get outdated a lot slower. See, and we're booting. And this is Ventura. We have macOS Ventura on a 2013 MacBook Pro. See, if you go into about this Mac, boom, Ventura about this Mac, macOS Ventura 13.3.1 on this MacBook. And what's even sicker is, I don't think sicker's a word, we can eject the flash drive if it will eject. I hope it will. And then we should be able to take the flash drive. There we go, and then we can take it out. And it's completely running on its own. That's insane. This really does breathe some new life into an old device. I really like how this mod, even though it takes so long to set up, it really does work well. You might have some problems with thermals or something like that, but it really does work well, and it allows you to use this computer for so much longer if your apps get outdated less often, that means that you're going to have to update less, therefore playing less in Apple and more into, this is my computer, I'm going to do with it what I want to do because I bought it for an expensive time a while ago. I really do like this and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, scroll down, smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.